What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFalls.com. Once again, we're recapping the news, but you got to make sure to check out SneakerFalls.com because we do post it there first. Now, a few things I wanted to go over before jumping into the news. First, I want to apologize for not uploading the Jordan 12 Low Wolf Grey review yesterday, or even being called Georgetown. And that's because I waited last minute to shoot it, and then I had car trouble, and by the time I got back, it would have been uploaded around midnight, so I apologize for that. Second, once again, I want to thank everybody for the, all the likes. Uh, man, some videos do outstanding, and some videos do great. I never, I'm never going to downplay if a video gets less likes or you know more likes than the other because i'm just very appreciative of the likes like it could be one like and i'm good with it but for the news we got some release information for the air jordan 13 low brave blue uh nmd triple black with 3m yeezy calabasas info on oh, just some new images and things like that but without wasting too much of your time let's jump in the news ASICS has something new coming this weekend known as the ASICS Gel Keanu Trainer Knit Reflective Pack. The two features a full woven textile upper along with 3M threading. One will come in predominant white while the other is done in black. We have the TPU cage which hits the panels and then kind of wraps the heel and the gel cushioning setup. Select retailers in Europe and overseas will have them on Saturday, March 18, 2017. Currently a stateside release isn't known but more details on the way. Two pairs of the Saucony Shadow 5000 will form a brand new pack from Saucony known as the Crackled Leather Pack. Now I don't really get why they're being called Crackled Leather. Yes, they do feature it on the toe, but other than that, that's where it ends. Across the panels, we have predominant suede use and pretty much everywhere else. One will be done in maroon while the other is done in white. In addition, gold detailing is seen that wraps the heel and is speckled across the white midsole and completing the look is a translucent outsole. For those interested in purchasing, they are arriving at retailers now, one of them being a feature. Retail price is $120. Adidas will borrow one of their popular soccer models from the 80s and kind of give it a fashionable makeover while still having the elements from the classic. Shown is the Adidas Mundial Team Pack which will be available in two color options. The Mundial Team Pack reflects the latest soccer style featuring a bold triple black and triple white colorway and combining a classic silhouette with the latest Adidas performance technologies. From the press release, the only new technology I see is K-Leather which is used across the upper. Other than that, they do feature gold accents and simply a clean look. The oddest thing about this whole press release and the information that was provided, they didn't provide a release date, which kind of sucks, but I expect them to be available soon, or at least Adidas to announce a date. Retail price is unknown. Nike recently released one of their OG Air Sock racers. Now, I'm not sure if they sold out or how well they did, but either way, they're going to follow up with a full colorway lineup for spring 2017 of the Nike Air Sock Racer Ultra Flyknit. Now, being honest, this is not my style at all, but maybe somebody out there will like these. And as you can see, it features a full knitted upper and then across the midfoot is two straps. And overall, not really feeling them to be honest. However, I'm not going to be able to fit all the colorways in this video. So what I'll do is drop a link in the description below pointing you to sneakerfiles.com if you want to check it out. There isn't a specific release date or retail price. However, they're rumored to release around May 2017. A reminder in this video, I'm sure you don't really need one. The Nike Air Max 1 Atmos Elephant drops on March 18th, 2017, which is this Saturday for 150 Also, according to Nike Store on Twitter, these are going to be available via the draw on the Nike Sneakers app. Now, I'm not sure what time the draw opens, but when I do visit the app, it says they're going to be available at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, I'm going to assume this will be changed up. More info on the way. As well, I wanted to show you some on-feet images, and man, they are looking super, super dope. The United Arrows Adidas NMD City Sock 1 is just around the corner, and before we jump into the release info, just wanted to give you a breakdown of the shoes. As you can see, it features a predominant black upper with the use of prime knit, while Japanese branding is seen on the heel, in the medial side of the panel, and one of the lateral EVA pod overlays. Other details include a full-length boost midsole done in white, and then gum across the outsole. Now, 
for the release i'm hearing this is going to be limited which i'm sure everybody already knew and they're set to drop on march 24th 2017 a retail price isn't provided as of yet more info and hopefully i can get a list of retailers soon nike is making sure that the 2017 air max day is the best one yet and it should be as the Air Max 1 is celebrating its 30th anniversary. Here we have something new, but it does trend on the side of OG. Nike is releasing the Air Max 1 Premium Tenol Pack, which comes in OG colorways done in all either blue or red, and of course, that tracks back to 1987. No retail price as of yet, however, I'm hearing that they're going to drop at overseas retailers like Atmos on March 17th, which is this Friday. As for a stateside drop, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I'll make sure to update you. A release date has been set for the Adidas NMD R1 Triple Black. Now, I think this shoe has released about 5-6 times, maybe I'm over exaggerating. However, this pair is a bit different from what we've seen. Now of course, they feature a boost midsole and everything is decked out in black, but the tongue branding and three stripes on the side is said to be in 3M reflective material, which differs from the previous drop. Now these are dropping March 16th, 2017, retail price will be 140 but if you do strike out, sites like eBay or even Stadium Goods should have your size available. We have a couple more images of the Adidas Yeezy Calabasas Power Face, which will be Kanye West's next collaborative release with the Three Stripes brand. Now, I believe this is his first pair that will lack Prime Knit or even Boost or one or the other. Now, I'm guessing the first pair up is going to be done in predominant white and then a little bit of gold hinted on the Calabasas on the panels. Although these are images from the preview, it does look like the leather is decent. So I'll give them that. Other than that, the retail price of 120, although it isn't a lot of money, the original only retailed for 55. I did state this in my other video and I just wanted to make that clear. So attaching the name Yeezy on something will definitely hike the price up. No shit. But if you're a fan of them, that's cool. No release date as of yet, expected to drop sometime soon, spring 2017. More info on the way. New images of the Air Jordan 7 Hyper Pink has landed, and for those that do not know, this is a grade school women's exclusive. Now just a quick rundown, all black through the upper, and we have a mixture of smooth and tumbled leather throughout, and then Hyper Pink accents with a translucent outsole. What's more important though is the release date for those that are interested. They are set to drop on April 29th, 2017. Retail price is set at 140. Late last night, Jordan Brand unveiled three upcoming colorways of the Air Jordan 31 Low. Now, it seems like a lot of people aren't feeling the model, but I actually kind of like them. They're not as great as the mid, but it is something a bit different. Either way, the first one up has a UNC type feel to it, features shades of blue throughout, a translucent outsole, and white across the midsole. The second somewhat streamlines with the pure money theme, and white is used across the uppers while pure platinum hits the branding. On the midsole, we have once again white, and just above it, we have a metallic silver finish. Once again, translucent outsole completes the look. The third and final pair features all black on the uppers, white hitting the Jumpman branding and midsole, and a translucent outsole. They didn't give release information for the trio, however, I do believe the white and black and white pair are releasing, I think sometime in April, I'm not 100% positive on that, and for the UNC-like pair, I'm not entirely sure as of yet, but, like always, we'll make sure to keep you in the loop. The Royal Air Jordan 1 won't be the only pair dropping from Jordan Brand on April 1st. They're actually going to release two pairs of the Air Jordan 1 Low OG, both being a premium model. What I'm hearing this is going to be some sort of limited drop, I'm not 100% sure on that. But first up we have the black pair and as you can see, black runs through the uppers, hitting the tongue and liner. Now it looks like some sort of distressed material is used up top. I'm not entirely sure from this image, it could be leather, but don't quote me on that. In addition, metallic gold hits the lace tips, all white through the midsole and outsole, and then tan leather is used on the tongue branding and heel. The second pair will have similar color blocking, but using ice blue through the upper, and then we have a lighter shade of blue on the laces and liner. Metallic gold once again hits the lace tips, and then white through the midsole and outsole. Completing the look is tan leather on the tongue label and the heel. Like I mentioned, release date is April 1st, 2017, and retail price will be 140 Now, I actually think both look clean, more leaning towards the black pair. However, I can't really rock with one Lowe's just because 
it makes me look like I have dug feet. Although we have yet to see images of the 2017 release, we now have a release date for the Air Jordan 13 low known as Brave Blue. Now for those that don't know, this is an original colorway that dropped back in 1998. For those interested in picking them up, they drop on April 8th, 2017. Retail price will be $175. Now to me, these are a must have. I really lean towards blue when it comes to sneakers or all red. It's really weird. I remember back in the day, looking through the East Bay magazine before I had my first pair of Jordans and wanting them so bad and this was a pair I really wanted and then I went to Safeway later that day and seen somebody rocking them so yes I'm going to have them unfortunately I don't have the OGs but if I can find a deal maybe I'll pick them up before they drop and that recaps the news from yesterday like always we posted on sneakerfiles.com first and then we bring it to YouTube now for this video I mean like really there's only two things i'm feeling the nike air max one atmos elephant of course but i've said that plenty of times and that's because it's been featured quite a bit but we are leading up to the release but the pair i'm feeling more than the atmos elephant is the air jordan 13 low brave blue now i know a lot of people will call me crazy and i understand that because a lot of people don't like jordan lows but this pair has some sort of sentimental value kind of attachment to it i guess and even through the years i've tried to pick them up the original release and i just didn't want to pay over 500 for them i think that was crazy so i wanted up not getting them now i will have them but leave a comment below let me know what you liked in this video what you disliked thanks for watching stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com and if you haven't yet make sure to subscribe